This is an example that comes from our textbook, example 1.28. Now, before we approach the calculation, I just want to explain a basic principle. As this coil rotates 360 degrees, it produces a sinusoidal waveform. Now, it's important to note that for our calculations, maximum EMF is produced at 90 degrees, and that is known as the big letter E to represent maximum EMF, and this small E here represents the instantaneous value, and that can be moved anywhere along the curve, and that will represent the smaller values on one half of the cycle. So at 90 degrees, when the coil cuts at right angles at 90 degrees, it produces maximum EMF. In this calculation, an armature conductor of a DC generator is 350 millimeters long. It is rotated at a velocity of 25 meters per second inside a magnetic field with a uniform flux density of 2,2 Tesla. So the first thing I want to point out to you is that imagine this is our permanent North Pole magnet, our permanent South Pole magnet, as the coil rotates. 360 degrees, it cuts through the lines of flux running from north to south, and it induces our EMF. The formulas that we will be looking at, so if you take a look, um, it's formula number 17 on our formula sheet for the exam. Uh, the formula reads as follows. The force is equal to the magnetic flux multiplied by the current in amperes multiplied by the length in meters sine theta, depending on the angle at which the coil is cutting the flux. So the force exerted on carrying the current carrying conductor is in newtons. The magnetic flux, which is the lines running from north to south, is measured in Tesla. I is the current flowing through the coils, which is in amperes, and the length of the coils in meters. And then our angle depends on at which angle the conductor is cutting the lines of flux. Our other calculation or formula we'll be using is formula number 18 from the formula sheet in the exam. And the instantaneous value is a smaller value is equal to the magnetic flux in Tesla multiplied by the length in meters and multiplied by the velocity in meters per second. And then we have our sinusoidal waveform and our angular displacement over there. Right, so the first thing we need to calculate is the magnitude of the EMF induced uh, when the conductor is at right angles to the magnetic field. Now let's first write down exactly what we are given. Okay, so first of all, the length is in millimeters, 350 millimeters. Now to convert millimeters to meters, we divide by 1000, and then our length will become meters. We have a velocity of uh, 25 meters per second and we have a magnetic field strength which is measured in tesla and that is 2,2 and then we have the current which is uh, 7 amperes and we have the angle now in this in this question here we're going to be cutting the angle at 90 degrees and the reason for that is because at 90 degrees we cut at right angles so the angle will be 90 degrees. So to calculate the magnitude of the EMF, um, we use the small letter E to represent the instantaneous value. B, the field strength measured in Tesla, multiplied by the length in meters, multiplied by the velocity in meters per second, times sine theta. And we're going to substitute 90 degrees because we're cutting at right angles. So it's 2,2 multiply by the length and to convert millimeters to meters I can just write it as a fraction 350 over 1000 times the velocity of 25 meters per second times sine 90 now the interesting thing is that sine 90 is actually equal to 1 so therefore our instantaneous value is 19,25 volts now this instantaneous value should be the same as the maximum value because sine 90 is equal to 1. Right, now in question B, calculate the uh, force exerted on the conductor when it is carrying a current of 7 amps at right angles to the magnetic field. So once again, because we're cutting at right angles, it means the angle will be uh, 90 degrees. So therefore, to calculate the force, 
it will be the strength of the magnetic field in Tesla and multiply by the current in amperes, multiply by the length of the coil in meters, and then times uh, sine theta. Okay, so the field strength is 2,2 uh, Tesla. The current was 7 amperes. The uh, length, once again, I'm going to write it as a fraction to convert 350 millimeters to meters. Just divide by 1,000. And then we cut the coil at 90 degrees at right angles. And therefore, the force measured in newtons will be 5,39 newtons. Okay, next question. Now we need to calculate the uh, power required to move the conductor. Now let me just show you the different formulas for power that you can use. Power is equal to force times velocity, or we could say power is equal to the voltage times the current. Now, we actually do have the maximum EMF. So if you want, you could actually substitute the maximum EMF in here. It is uh, 19,25 volts at 90 degrees multiply by the current of 7 amps, and that gives us a power of 134,75 watts. That's the power required to move the conductor. Now in part D, we need to calculate the EMF induced and the force exerted on the conductor at the instant when the conductor is at 60 degrees to the magnetic field. So now the angle has changed. It's no longer at uh, right angles. It's now at 60 degrees. So let's see how this will impact our calculations. So first of all, the formula for the instantaneous value is B times L times V times sine theta. And then to calculate the force, it is the field strength multiplied by the current times the length times sine theta. All right, so the only thing that's changing here basically is the angle. So we have uh, 2 comma 2 times 350 over 1000 to convert millimeters to meters times the velocity of uh, 25 meters per second sine 60 okay so therefore we get uh, 16 comma 671 volts and the force that will be exerted uh, 2 comma 2 times the current of 7 amps the length to convert millimeters to meters and the angle has changed it is now sine 60 okay so the force exerted in newtons will be 4,668 newtons right that's it thanks for watching this video